I actually joined work on August 15th, 1991 and lost my freedom. <laughs> India gained freedom. Kanabaran Mills is a 50-year-old company now, part of the KG Group. I studied in REC Trichy, now it is called NIT. I did my postgraduate at Cornell University, Masters in Chemical Engineering. Actually, me and my brother flew in together in 1991, August. We had to join the family business because my father was not doing well. His part of the business we had to start managing from the next day onwards, literally. And having come here and taking charge of a textile mill in a recessionary phase, I would say it was a God-given gift. That was my first MBA. From almost making zero profits, we went on to make about 30-40 lakhs per month in those days. KGDM is today South India's largest fabric manufacturing mill. We make close to 100,000 to 120,000 yards of denim every day, shipping to all the largest brands in the world, which includes Levi, Lee, Wrangler, Next, Max & Spencer. We are one of the world's most sustainable denim companies. We use only six liters of water to make a meter of denim as compared to the nearest competition, which uses about 60 liters of water. A typical denim plant has 50 streams of water coming out. We were able to then study each and every stream of water, find out what its property is, and use the best property of that particular water to reuse it somewhere. So here, anywhere that water comes out of the machine, that water gets used three to four times before it goes to the effluent plant. That is how 60 liters came down to six liters. By 2005-2006, the availability of labour evaporated. So, we went to the poorest and remoter districts. We took people from there. The male first we got. Once we got the male, once we trained the male, we told the male, why don't you get your sisters across also? So, quite a few NGOs then started working with us. We told them the advantages of work of you know, working in an industrial environment, the kind of skills that they get, the kind of empowerment that they get. You know, there's a World Bank study that if women are empowered, they lift entire populations out of poverty. We started an in-house ITA here, along with Centurion University. And now three locations are offering two-year diploma programs and in one location, the location that I'm sitting in is offering three-year diploma programs. And today now there are, I think, 150 odd students studying these various ITA programs. Part of the, our work is being very sustainable company, you know, running a very ethical business and also. But what gives biggest gratification for us is the human resource capability that we are doing without spending anything extra or spending a little bit extra to train people and deliver them to society for the use of the society. And that is what gives us the greatest satisfaction. Our future vision is to make this 500 crore, 1000 crore company, a couple of more manufacturing locations without destroying value. Typically, when somebody expands, you know, they destroy inherent value inside. To scale up a company from 500 to 1000 crores, access to capital, access to fast capital, when I mean, when we want money tomorrow morning, we want money tomorrow morning and not of 10 days and 15 days and 30 days. I think if we are able to solve the problem going from 500 crore to 1000 crore and not collapsing in our growth, we'll be fantastic.